What's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Kennedy Alexis. I'm starting this vlog off at like 8 at night. I'm gonna go ahead and vlog my weekend for y'all. I got ready and decided to go get myself something to eat and go to Ulta so I can see if I can find a new fragrance, some new shit. So, yeah. And I'm finally getting my hair done tomorrow, which I'm so excited about because I have been tired of doing my own hair and let me show y'all what it looks like right now. I just have it in this really slick back bun. This is what it's looking like tonight. I can't keep doing my little hair every day. I just, I just can't. I don't even know what time also closes. It's almost eight o'clock. I hope they don't close at eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out the fucking door. It's right up the street from my house anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all there. Dark as fuck right now. I hope y'all can see me good. I'm gonna just show y'all the perfumes I got right quick. The first one is the Giorgio Armani. I think that's how you say it. It's the Armani code. When I tell y'all this one, this one smells so similar to the Dolce and Gabbana light blue scent, and that shit smells good. It smells really similar to me. I think it does. I got it for $53, so about $55 with tax. The next one I got is the Irresistible by Givenchy. This one I heard a lot of people talking about for the longest. I just never went and got it, and it doesn't smell like anything else I have. It's like a good feminine scent, but it smells fresh too. Like it's not too fruity, because me personally, I don't really like fruity scents. Shit that's way too fruity is, and it starts smelling like peaches and cream and little girls and shit. No, this gives a nice, fresh floral scent. It's like a mixture of both and I like it. This one was about $80. And together it totaled to about $140. I don't think that's that bad for perfume, you know? Cause usually I would spend that much or more on one perfume and we didn't do that today, so. Well, yeah. Those are the perfumes I got. If y'all like fresh scents that's not too strong with the fruity shit, I feel like y'all would like those. I'm finna eat me some Zaxby's. And I got the boneless wing meal with hot honey mustard sauce. And I did a heavy sauce and this shit's finna go crazy. Do y'all actually, for y'all to eat Zaxby's, do y'all actually eat the toast they give y'all? Cause for the longest time, I did not eat this house cause I didn't think it was all that. But I don't know if they start doing it different or what, but I, I eat that fucking house now. Let me tell y'all how my day was. I, I'm such a fucking spoiled ass brat. Not literally, but when I tell y'all, when I fucking tell y'all, I'm gonna be like, oh my God. But I'm sure some of y'all can't fucking relate. So this morning, really all day up until I got ready and went to the Ulsa, I was so fucking upset for no reason. Like my emotions are all over the place and i really think it's because i started back taking birth control and i had been off of that for about two years so i just start back taking them out of nowhere and that shit be having your hormones all imbalanced you be feeling so sad for no fucking reason i was just so fucking upset for no reason i was like let me get the fuck up bro so i got up and i was like I did say I needed some new perfume. So I got an Ulta and I buy my perfume. I was originally supposed to get just one bottle of perfume, but I made the mistake of smelling another one after I already had my mind stuck on one. And y'all already know when you be indecisive about a scent, not times out of 10, you're gonna fucking buy both of them. So that's what I did. Retail therapy is fucking real, y'all. I haven't spent nothing on myself in so long. I haven't been clothes shopping in so long. I haven't been, I haven't had my hair done in so long. When I spent that money on those perfumes, I instantly felt better. Like I just did something for myself and I wasn't worried about shit else. I be feeling like angels really be watching over me, bro, because every time I'm having a bad day and I'm feeling some type of way and I go into a store or something, I get so many compliments from people like you are so pretty oh my gosh and your makeup looks so good this and that and this shit makes my fucking day i said that to say this when i walked in ulta all the workers and y'all know ulta employees be so fucking they be drop dead gorgeous 
So for them to say that you look good, bitch, you must be, you must look good. So when they told me I look so pretty and you're fucking gorgeous, I was like, <laughs> I feel good for after that. Like, everybody loves a good compliment. You never know when somebody needs one. I always do this, but when I see a pretty girl in public, I be like, you're so pretty. Like, I just compliment bitches because you never know who need that shit, you feel me? Like, cause today I needed that shit. And usually, I don't be in them type moves like that. So that shit really made my day too, so. Retail therapy, plus words of affirmation from strangers. I feel great as fuck. That's my little rant. On another note, this is going crazy. <laughs> I hope I'm not talking y'all's head off, but I just like to talk. So, okay, I'm starting to smack. Like y'all know when that food good, when that food start to hit, you you don't really be talking too much. Oh shit! What? Oh, no. for like a couple hours now. I just forgot to record for y'all. And it's actually so fucking freezing in here right now. So I'm about to put on this big ass hoodie because it's too cold for the boy shit. I'm too bored. There's nothing to do today. This shit's huge. Hit that. How did you do that hip shit? I can't do it to save my fucking life. Nah. I'm about to warm up some chicken from Publix and some baked beans and throw the fuck down. I'm hungry as fuck. I was over here munching on chips, but then I remembered it was some leftover food from Publix. So be some I'm gonna warm that shit up. For some reason, my back is killing me. Like the upper part of my back is so sore. Like if I move a certain way, it hurts so bad. I don't know what that is, but I need to stretch, crack it up, something. Oh, you almost knocked me over, Rookie. You need to stand up or something. Let me move my phone. I'm fucking around the job. Yeah, I really don't. I know y'all can't see me, but it's fine. Just listen. I really don't like Publix baked beans like that. <gasps> Damn, I got it on the table. You know, okay, I'm probably eat like five pieces of chicken. <laughs> She know me. This is a lot. I'm gonna have high cholesterol if I keep on with the bullshit. You just got to have a hot sauce like that. You just got to have it like that. I don't give a fuck. No, that's it. I'm about to eat and then I'm gonna get back to y'all when I'm done eating and doing whatever the fuck else I'm doing today. So, I'll catch y'all in a minute. It's a long ass time later. I'm out here, ate the pool by myself. <sighs> well, not really by myself. Munching on some ice. Which I should not be doing. <laughs> but I don't care. It's pretty out here. The pool look good, but this shit really dirty as fuck. <laughs> but I was just checking in with y'all. I don't know, record shit. I ain't shit to record. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Really hope y'all can hear me. Because I got this ear blasting. I don't know what the fuck I was. Oh, I was at the pool yesterday. She wanted to go look at flowers and shit. And I might give me something for when I go back to the crib tomorrow. Cause I've been wanting more plants in my crib to make it look very homey and cute. This bird better get, oh. yo, I almost hit a freaking red. It was like a red robin. I almost hit the bitch. I'm gonna be a sign. Let me look up what red robins mean when you see them. Cause I've been seeing them a hella lately. And yeah, blue jays. And these folk been riding my ass the whole time. Oh, it's a dick. 
like it's so sidetracked. Yeah, I took the whole bag of cherries for my mom. <laughs> I wish uh, I do have my other phone, but I didn't bring it with me because I want to jam out with you guys and play a little music on where to Walmart. I forgot a Sonic was right here. I might get me a slushy or something when I leave Walmart because it's a hot summer fucking day. Speaking of summer, why the fuck summer went by so fast? Like, I ain't even been outside for real. I mean, I have. I ain't gonna count. But I, I, I really feel like this summer really got got uh, cut short on some shit. Like I've never had a summer where it went by this fucking fast. What kind of shit is this? I'm soaking fucking wet. Look at this shit. I don't know if you can see. My mother is gonna go cook. So I'm gonna go over there. And then later on, I'm linking up with my homegirls. And I'll catch y'all then. Bitch is hungry. It's six o'clock right now. I definitely gotta go find me something. I got me some food. I didn't record that. I need to get a chocolate. I have one, but it won't stick right. So maybe I need to super glue the beat. I need to start asking my spam daily sit and chat questions to talk to y'all about because I've been doing a lot of these lately, like where I'm just Happy y'all up in the motherfucking car and talking y'all. Doing like many more baby shit. That's what the pizza is. It look like somebody took a bite out of my shit already. I'm not gonna lie. That place has the best pizza. It's crunchy like, I like kind of crunchy pizza but not burnt. I don't really like no soft ass pizza. It's giving like, y'all didn't even cook that shit. Y'all serving me dope, marinara sauce and some cheese. This shit. This shit perfect. I need to get in the habit of being able to vlog in public and talk to y'all in public. Who the fuck cares? I say this all the time, but who the fuck really cares? Like, my anxiety be getting the best Who the fuck really cares? Like, if they're looking at me, so, hey, you wanna be in my video? Ain't gonna be rude, but like, it's rude to stare. Don't be staring at nobody. Especially me, cause this gonna be get real awkward for both of us. I really need to get over that fear of recording in public. I could have had a lot more good ass footage in the past if I would just be able to record myself in public and I can do it definitely can do it when I'm with people because it's not it's not weird to be recording yourself when you're with a group of people like duh, everybody do that but everybody don't be recording yourself in public by themselves and shit so it just be like feeling like unusual it's not the norm but who the fuck I don't do shit else normal so why the fuck I feel like I can't record in public I'm really just having this conversation with myself but I'm talking to y'all I just really gotta start telling myself like bitch it's not that fucking deep. I ain't never been that deep. I'm a shy fuck. That's the problem. I'm shy as fuck. You look at me and think I'm not a shy bitch. But I'm shy as fuck. <laughs> 